The discombobulated Nets, speaking of, have been out of the playoffs for a month, and things sound no clearer for next season either. The New York Daily News reports that the team is currently unwilling to give a long-term contract extension to your boy, Tone Kyrie Irving, which could lead to Irving <laughs> opting out of next season and becoming a free agent. And Kevin Durant, y'all know who I am, and the team reportedly haven't been in touch since the Celtics sept, swept them out last month. All right, Tony, do you expect that all the Nets' big three issues will be resolved and we're going to see Irving, Durant, and Ben Simmons play together next season? I don't know how anybody can believe that is going to happen. Maybe a few games, but all 82, you can wish that will happen. The, the Brooklyn Nets are built on wishes. Let's examine this point by point. Ben Simmons did not play a single game last year. He has a bad back. Is there a magic operation that can assure people he's going to play this coming year? No, there isn't. Kyrie Irving, how do you think he's going to feel now that the Nets have essentially leaked to the world that they don't want this guy? You think he's going to show up for work every day and really be happy to play for the Nets? And how will this affect Kevin Durant, who loves Kyrie Irving? Right? Because I, I, it's just it's craziness. I'll tell you this, Mike. I don't believe this story. I believe the reporting on it. I don't believe the Nets are actually going to hold firm to this line because they haven't wow. done it before. Kyrie wow. Irving held them hostage last year. He will hold them hostage again this year. And any team that he is on, he will ruin. You know I'm not going to disagree with any of that. By the way, I like the way you set that up. It was like Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. I'm skewing older again. I'm back in the 70s. And you knew what you were doing, and I know what you were doing. Very nicely done. That soap opera setup, I like that. And that's what it is. And I, 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 I agree with your reasoning, Tony. But here's the thing. Because they don't hold true to what they believe about Kyrie Irving, I don't know what they're going to do. Because, Tony, this is a true dilemma. When you got Kyrie Irving, you have an asset like Irving, who is box office, whose greatness is – physical greatness is unquestioned. Well, man, Tone, I wouldn't sign him. I would not sign him to a multi-year deal where you know he's not going to be accountable. You know he's not reliable. You know he's not going to show. He's going to take six games off because it's some friend's birthday. You, you know you're not getting what you need to get in terms of, of, of playing That's for right. a championship. So what do you do? Do you convince LeBron James that they should trade him to Los Angeles somehow and LeBron should take him back, the only place that Kyrie has had that kind of success? Tony, I don't think right. you're going to see it either, but that means they got to sign and trade them. And who wants Kyrie? Somebody's going to bite, right? They, a bad team will, sure. Not a good team. Not a team that thinks it can win. Mike, the Nets were so starry-eyed when they got Durant and they got Kyrie Irving. They felt they could just roll the ball out there and want to win a bunch of yep. championships. It didn't happen. Yep. James Harden was here for an hour and a half, and he said, get me out of here. And, and Kevin Durant, if you mess around with Irving, Kevin Durant just may leave or just demand to, to go somewhere else. The, the lesson in this is be careful what you wish for. Be careful. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.